Welcome. <laughs> that was the intro song. What's it? Yeah. Wow. I'll do it up close now. Okay. Oh. Um, broke them both. Julie, I missed you so much last week. Welcome back, me. Welcome back, Welcome, Julie. Nita. Man, um, thank you so much, Jenna. Covering me last week. I love you. I had to deal with some unfortunate stuff. Uh, I missed I missed podcasts last week. It was the Jenna cast, and I first of all, you guys have been so supportive um, this last week, week and a half, and it's it's made uh, it's made things easier for me. But um, Jenna, you really held my weight. <laughs> what? What? She wanted to come up here. I love you. Thank you so much for for covering me for, uh, last week. It means a lot. And uh, I have a question though. Yeah. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> what? Tell me. T- <laughs> tell them what you said to me before we came in here. <laughs> you said I, I need a sweatshirt or like a hat or something because it's Sunday right now for us and I'm just like in full Sunday mode like haven't put my contacts in like people always make fun of me on the podcast because I just always look so blah but it's because it's usually on a Sunday when when we're doing this so we working on the weekends y'all so I'm always like full comfort mode you know yeah <laughs> I think I took comfort mode to another level <laughs> I was like, can I just wear a blanket over my whole head and body? And then I put the headphones on and I was like, yeah. I would do that too. I would just get way too hot. Look, look at me. Yeah, you're going to be hot in like 20 minutes. No, I feel fine. Okay. And my son, Kermit, really likes this outfit. Oh, your son is... Well, he's weird. Anyway, uh, this episode is brought to you by The Skim. Guys... Uh, there's so much confusing information out in the world. The skim makes it so easy to digest with a, a compact, nice little morning newsletter. Right in your email inbox. It's free. It comes every morning. All right. And all you got to do is go to theskim.com. That's T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M.com slash Jenna Julian. You get the the information you need to dominate everyone at work with information. You'll be the most knowledgeable person and the most humble you also are entered to win a $250 Visa gift card when you use that URL or click the link in our description. Also, guys, texture, the, the way to read magazines in 2018. You're not going to muddy up your old house and bathroom and in coffee table with, with physical magazines. Who the hell does that, all right? You're going to get texture, okay? Someone living in the past. Yeah, that's living in the past. Access to over 200 premium magazines, all the ones that you like, guys. Time, The Atlantic, The New Yorker, Vanity Fair. Variety, I think, which you were on the cover of, Aww. which is so cool. Anyway, guys, uh, you can get Texture for free. You can try it for free right now. Go to texture.com slash Jenna Julian. That's texture.com slash Jenna Julian. And, uh, or you can click the link in our description and uh, give it a shot. It's a really cool way to read magazines. Thank okay. you, sponsor. Thank you, sponsor. <clears throat> Let's see how long she'll sit here. She's being pretty good. She's pretty cuddly today. Yeah, she gets, right, Julian, she gets we, kind of bored, though. Well, yeah, she does. What are we doing? <coughs> oh. Oh, she just looked at you like, Dad, are you okay? Oh, peachy girl. Um, we're going to play a th- uh, we're gonna play a game. It's similar to Nuclear Winter, but it's not Nuclear Winter. We're, na- we're naming it something different because the scenario we've made for this one is different. Well, because Nuclear Winter is really fun because we like to see, although you wrote all of these. I wrote all of these. I, this is the first time that I haven't written I had to some. make up for you covering my ass last week. Oh, you sweet. But so the, the premise of Nuclear Winter is that we pick like professions and then descriptions, ridiculous descriptions out of a hat and they get paired up together. And then you have a bomb shelter and you can only keep like 10 out of the... 15 combinations or whatever. So you get rid of the people that you can live without. So it's like a doctor, but he farts fire and like random stuff like that. But if you're in a bomb shelter and you need to like survive for the foreseeable future, you know, you have a strong inclination to keep a doctor or something. Mm -hmm. So we've liberated ourselves, I guess, from the, the need to keep some people maybe based on the, the, their profession by making this more like 
Survivor. Space Survivor. Is is it space? Oh, I don't know. I just thought that sounded well. Cool. I guess you know, space okay. survivor. The, the two the two network execs who didn't get on the same page before the meeting. <laughs> survivor, space survivor. What? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it, it could fit for any like desert island scenario, and also space. Are we call it? Is it space survivor? Space survivor. Okay. <laughs> we so gotta bring in the ratings. They're they're just they're just like people with different characteristics. So and in one bowl, we're there's, gonna, there's characters. And then the oh. other bowl, there's characteristics. So we're going to make people by pairing them And once we pair them, they're final. Yes, correct. But we're going to get rid of them one by one, like Survivor, based on whoever is probably the most annoying. People who, who we don't want to tolerate living with. And then are, are we going to get with. to the, the ultimate Survivor? Yeah. Yeah? The, the, there's going to be one remaining. One will come along. Okay. For the, for the journey. Okay. Wait. But I thought we're all in space. We're we're kicking them out of the the shuttle. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. We're we're sending them into a vacuum. Well, I feel like if it was like a survivor, like we're running low on food, like we're we have that's, to decide who to eat. So we maybe. can eat them. Yeah. We're we also have to take into, into consideration who would taste good. <laughs> okay. So is this space survivor or is this survivor? Space survivor. Okay, and we're eating. The people. We're eating the people. <laughs> we're eating. Well, we can either eat them or just dump them. Okay, okay. So if yeah, we're really getting hungry, we can choose some to eat. But we don't have to eat. We can – if if we're kicking these people out, we're whittling it down to one. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter if we eat them because there's only going to be three of us at the end. There's going to be plenty of food. Oh, my God. Okay, forget about the whole eating thing. It's, I'm very uncomfortable. Space survivor. Eat we're your friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're getting rid of them or we're like launching them off of a trampoline into space. But let's pretend we're trampoline on like a, work in space. a pretty no desert, desert island planet. Like a pretty one with water. And like is it like Mars? Like, no, Mars is not like that. Um, um, like one in Star Trek where they, you know, they land Saturn, and, su and like suddenly the atmosphere Sat is totally fine for them to breathe. It's and called like Saturn water. Springs. Saturn it's Springs. a sister planet to Saturn that no one knows about because mm -hmm. it's the best kept secret in, in the vacation world. Mm -hmm. It's where Palm Springs got its name. <laughs> okay. Saturn Springs. Okay. Just so we're, we're going to Saturn. 180 degrees. It's very hot. <laughs> okay. You have to prime yourself for the weather. Okay. How, do, how does one prime themselves for the weather? SaturnSprings.gov. You'll find out. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, so let's create the scenario where we're we're on a spaceship. We're all going to Saturn Springs. I say we all get there, but every week we have to decide somebody that leaves Saturn Springs. That's that's fair. At the end of the day, we're not on Earth. Mm -hmm. We are just with these people. Mm -hmm. so it's not like we have a population of humans with us, right? Um, so this is, in, but Jeff in Probst essence, is who we're going to be? Yeah, Jeff Probst. Yeah, and we're well, we're on the show also. Yeah, we're on it's the show a, too. It's a reality show. <laughs> are you bored? I think she's bored. Is it a reality show? It's a reality show, but nobody's watching it because everyone's dead. We're the only ones on. No. If everyone's dead, then we wouldn't kick everybody off. We would need to keep the whole population. That's true. That's true. I keep changing the rules here. It's just a, it's a reality show hosted by Jeff Probst how remotely. Are, how long are we in space it's like, for? It's like um, 15 years. It's like, the tr <laughs> it's like the Truman Show and everyone's watching us from Earth. So there's – but that's – okay. Okay. That's – so in the movie The Truman Show, we are being – we are the subject of that TV show. Yeah, like Saturn okay, so Springs sort of like is a social Earth. Experiment. Yeah, and okay. there's it's like Big Brother sort of. Okay, that and, works. But they're watching us remotely from Earth, and we have to vote a person off every week. Yeah, I like that. And then we're basically, in theory, going to get to top three because you and I are also on Saturn. Yeah, Springs. of course. Unless you know, me and one of them just really decides that <laughs> we're you are not you here. Off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're not here for the right reasons. Okay, um, I'll go first. Ladies first. <laughs> it's Aries season. <laughs> Terry season, y'all. Buckle up. Get prepared for lots of spontaneous <laughs> plans and things caught on fire. Speaking of fire, our first <laughs> contestant is a guy who's on fire who does the orchestra conducting finger thing when they pee. <laughs> like this. He does that when he pees? When he pees. But and he's on fire. he? So he pees without holding? Yeah, it's just going everywhere. And he's just... <laughs> okay. I don't know. I mean, I think that being on fire is probably worse than 
that, but okay. Literally nothing's worth it being on fire. <laughs> Is he going to live? <laughs> I don't know how he's on fire. I don't know how he's been on fire for so long. Hi, Peach. Okay. You want to come podcast? He's just on permafire. <laughs> yeah, permafire. All right, our next contestant is a beekeeper who's lost his way and won't stop talking about how cutting out caffeine has made him feel so much better. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. He's he's a contender. Okay. <laughs> well, he he cares about We get about, it, dude. You don't need He's don't a beekeeper, so he cares about living things. He's a yeah. cool guy. He seems like he might be compassionate, but he's also, he wants to share some positive things with people. That's true. That's true. He might be a nice person. That's true. All right. Who else? I'm a fan got? of his. Okay. Okay. An erotic novelist who won't stop saying wig and oh my God, <laughs> me in every conversation. <laughs> That's not true. I literally said that to you as a suggestion. Yeah, Both these, of those. These two are literally your Because own, I was yeah. on Twitter and I was reading Ricky <sighs> Dillon tweets. That, that character is basically Ricky Dillon. Oh, but I love Ricky. Well, he might get voted off, okay? No, no. We need to have Ricky back on the podcast. It's been ages. I know. Okay. I have. <sighs> oh, my God, Julian. AMA. Matt Damon, but he's stuck in the makeup from Stuck on You. So he's attached to Greg Kinnear and they uncontrollably steal people's toiletries. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, a problem. That's a good one. This is a problem. <laughs> you do this not want them. You do not want the Stuck on You boys taking your toiletries. They're going to go for your dop kit and there's nothing you can this, do because there's two of them. That's a problem. I need my toiletries. They need it more. <laughs> they are two people. Wow, fuck those guys. Whoa, easy there. They're a national treasure. A freshly divorced dad with nothing to lose yes. whose dandruff is Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Delicious. That's pretty helpful, honestly. I He's <coughs> like, I don't see a problem with that. He's just out here trying to rediscover him himself. Yeah, he's got nothing to lose. And his hair is cheese. All right. <laughs> Michael Keaton squeezing into his nearly 30-year-old Batman outfit, <laughs> Julian. <laughs> and he gives constant updates on how well their stock investments are doing. <laughs> Next year it'll be 30 years, so, so almost 30 years. So we basically have Batman <laughs> talking pretty about, much just like talking about stocks. Not he's like a stuff. full of himself old Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Except instead of like fighting crime or doing anything, he's of just value. belittling you for your stock choices okay. and, and raising himself up for. Oh his. man, that's not it's not looking too. It's good. not looking good at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, a retired porn star who won't stop reminiscing about quote glory days. <laughs> uh, who every night after ten p.m. can't understand how gravity works. <laughs> 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 the clock hits just, 10. Wait. Out the, the, is it a male porn star or a female porn star? Uh, it's, it doesn't specify. You wrote it. It's a retired porn star. They okay. know no gender. Um, so do they just freak out in the middle yeah, of the night? Yeah, 10 p.m. Basically? The clock hits 10. And most times they can carry on. But if you try to have a conversation with them or if they ask you why they're not floating in midair, they don't. They can't comprehend it until okay. the morning. Man, that's that's brutal. <sighs> So every night's... Every night is hell. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Uh, a YouTuber who does candle reviews. Ooh. But instead of reviewing the smell, they review how bad they burn when you touch them. <laughs> That's my candle That's review channel. That's sick. <laughs> oh, no. Read it. Read it. Oh, no. Read it. <laughs> What does it say? Who sleep yells in Dothraki. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we have a person that professionally burns themselves and sleep yells in Dothraki. I mean, it's a pretty good Dude. language to sleep yell in. If you're going to sleep yell, you got to do it in Dothraki, I think. Oh, my God. That's a good one. So between this person and that person, we have two people that just like can't make Freak it through the night. night. Yeah. Oh. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's fine, though. How are we going to get any sleep? Oh, this one's bad. This is the one that you wrote, but it's a bad one. I'm putting it back. 
What do you mean it's a bad one? I, actually, I thought I deleted it, but it's not deleted. Oh, so you want to cut it out of the... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. Not It's not bad, guys. It's just weak. It's like um, not a strong one. This next one is uh, a brain surgeon who runs on a human-sized hamster wheel 20 hours out of the day. I had his chest a disturbance. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, so did he get surgery the other four? I guess so. When does he sleep? <laughs> Kylie Jenner's baby's future baby? <laughs> what the fuck? What? So Stormy's baby? Yeah. Stormy's future baby? Yeah. Who smells like pistachios and lies about everything? Dude, I don't know why you're asking me. That's that's Stormy's deal, okay? No, it's Stormy's baby. Stormy's daughter. Or son? Probably daughter. Oh, my God. How far in the future is this? We're going to be dead. We're not even on here. Nah, nah. All right, karma is making me so hot. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Thick Jonah Hill, <laughs> who doesn't believe doctors are real people. Okay. All right. Thick with two C's. All Do you know right. there's a website called Is, Is Jonah Hill Fat? And it updates on. That's so I messed found it on Reddit. I know, it's really fucked up, but I found it on Reddit. Someone actually has the domain. That's so messed up. And you click on it and it shows like if he's in shape or not. That's so messed up. <laughs> I know, it's a website though. The internet is a wild place. All right, a racist farmer who won't stop sniffing their fingers and laughing afterwards. <laughs> oh no, we can't have this person. A racist farmer. See, I, I made that. Exactly that way because he could be helpful. But he's racist. But he's racist. All right, Carmen, you're so hot. Get out of here, boy. Too he's hot. Literally 103 degrees. Exactly on the dot. <laughs> An electrician who shakes your hand but with their finger in the middle tickling your palm. <laughs> like Honestly, this? not the worst. Yeah, I know. That like that really bothers some people, but it doesn't bother me too much. Plus, you're not going to shake hands with him all the time. It's true, except he likes shaking hands. That's why I wrote that. Hmm, interesting. All right. A pickup artist, gross, who demands a fortune cookie after every single <laughs> meal. What a guy. How obnoxious. What a guy. <sighs> what else you got? A Jehovah's Witness on his bicycle who misses his mom so much. That's it? He just misses his mom so much? So much. Honestly, not bad. Plus, he misses he's got, his mom. He's got a bike. I don't blame him. I would miss my mom, too. We're in space. But he misses his mom all the time. That's fine. So much. All right. A sex doctor who won't stop accusing everyone of cheating on the test, even though nobody is even in school. Okay. Sounds annoying. Mm-hmm. An orchestra conductor. Oh, messed that one up. Remember? Yeah. Uh, an orchestra conductor who is an on-the-fence flat earther. <laughs> but we're in space. On the fence, okay. <laughs> Could go either way at this point. All right. And the last one is an IT guy who refuses to believe churches are real. Okay. Like churches, not not like religion, like just the physical locations are even. Okay. Okay. All right. So, who are our who are our definite get outs? Um, racist farmer. Let's get him out of here. But we have wait, hold on. Oh. We we're doing it like week by week. <laughs> okay, so right? week yeah, week 1. Um do we All right. All right. Who is yours that is like you you need to get out? <clears throat> well, I I don't see a need for A, a person who is a brain surgeon, and B, someone who is going to be on a hamster wheel for 20 hours out of the day, like a human size. <laughs> How can you even like interact with them? You, I mean, he might be able to talk to you while he's running, but like imagine how much that guy has to eat. That's true. To, to maintain that schedule. Yeah. I mean, if we have limited resources. He can't be burning 88,000 calories a day because he wants to. Yeah. Why does he need to be on a hamster it's wheel? It's just how he exists. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but he's not it's worse It's like how some a... people do yoga for one hour a day. He does that for 20. 
solid comparison. Yes, thank you. I feel like a racist farmer that won't stop sniffing his fingers and laughing afterwards is like enough, dude. <laughs> but <laughs> Get the you fuck don't out know. Of here. But you don't know what he's laughing about. He could have the answers to all of the wonders of the world by sniffing his fingers. That's why he's laughing. No. I'm just being devil's advocate here. Okay. What you're not going to do is... <laughs> come here. Come. Can you come? He's my front runner to get out first. Uh, okay. Who's yours? Uh, on my team. side or in total? On your side. Um, Give us the brain surgeon. He's the one I don't want really anyone shaking you. my hand and, and tickling my palm. I hate that. Like, I hate it when you do it, but if a stranger did it, I would definitely hate so it. So that's your worst one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want the electrician. I don't want him. Oh, but he's an electrician. Could be helpful. I feel like a racist farmer needs to get out first. Let's get him out of here. Put him in the bowl. All right. So week one. <coughs> put him in the bowl. We're eliminating the racist farmer who won't stop sniffing their fingers and laughing next time, afterwards. Next time, don't be racist. Keep sniffing your finger, though. That's fine. That is fine. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Okay, it's not, I take it back. It's not fine. <laughs> Karma, I want you to sit with me, but I'm so hot, bud. <laughs> it's just so hot. <laughs> All right. You pick the next one to get kicked out. Okay. Um, Stop sniffing your finger behind my back. So I think um, the orchestra conductor, yeah. A, is probably really pretentious. That's actually, I just prejudged that guy. He yes, might not did. be pretentious at all. But the thing about being an on-the-fence flat earther, I think that's going to piss a lot of people off, especially when we're not at home on Earth. Well, we're like, in it's... space. So whatever doubts he had, he now no longer has because he's seen the fact that we're on another fucking planet. Well, we don't know that. He's not quite rational. Hey, we're podcasting. Don't make noise, Key. <laughs> he's licking you. <laughs> I like it. Oh, he's okay. sweet. He loves me. Okay. So that's your next one? Um, I don't like the flat earther. I don't like the flat earther. Why? Well, because he's a flat earther. Yeah, but I feel like, okay, I see where you're going, but people that won't stop stealing my toiletries and are two people that are Listen connected here. to each you're other. You're going to fight me all day on this one. Because I am keeping those boys until the day I die. Those guys that's are my... The, those guys together are my hero. Wait, so they're just like two little hamsters and then they hoard everyone's toiletries? Hamsters? Yeah. They're not hamsters. They they're they're cinema legends it. in character of their masterpiece hit film, Stuck on You, Wait, by the Farrelly so brothers. I can't get rid of them? Well, no, definitely not on the second round. I'm keeping them. Are you kidding me? Them in care. Okay. You know, I'm a fan of both of them. As actors individually, but if you're going to put them together and put them in costume, this is like teasing me with a sequel, but I get to meet them. I don't care. All they right. can have my toiletries. In so fact, who's your next one getting voted off yeah. then? Sorry. Um, well, the guy on fire seems to pose a threat just based on a safety purpose. Like if he's on fire... And he's lived this long while being on fire. I'm sure he's developed some sort of mechanism to live, but, but we, we haven't. haven't. So well, that's dangerous. I don't want him around. I agree. All right. Guy who's What's... on fire, he does the orchestra conducting finger thing when he pees. That's also like a real hassle. It's real sus. He probably can't pee in the toilet. I feel sus. But if we ever lost power or needed needed flint in the form of fire, we already have fire in the form of guy. <laughs> like on Survivor, since this is space Survivor, we're going to need fire. And it might be hard to make fire in space. But since he's already on fire, we could cook things over him. Well, are we getting rid of him or not? No, I just I just thought of that. What do you think? Okay. I mean, that's pretty I valuable. I agree with you. That's pretty yeah, valuable. that maybe we could use him as a power source. It's a Heat safety source, concern. light source. But it's also a plus. Not if we locked him up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't agree to any of that. What if we kept him in an enclosure <clears throat> Where we could use him for heat, but he could be on fire and not touch us. But, like, he was cool with it. Mm. But 
What, where would we get that enclosure? Who would build the enclosure? I don't know who's... We would. It'd be fine. Okay, so we're building we an enclosure. We would demand the producers to do it for us. Okay, so... You know, like, um, what's-her-face in X-Men that wears the gloves because when she touches people, she freezes them? Like, it's... We're just creating a barrier between him and, and us, but he's okay with it. So, what we're doing here by keeping him mm-hmm. is we're eliminating the need to have any sort of wood or materials that we need to throw into a fire. Yeah. Anything physical, because we have a forever fire. Mm-hmm. Right? Is mm-hmm. that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm in favor of getting rid of of useless material like magazines, oh, which is what not. you can do with texture because <laughs> it's all not. digital on your phone, you did tablet, not. or laptop. <laughs> texture takes away all the the needless paper We've with magazines. You, <laughs> it lets you have all your favorite magazines, their back issues, anytime, anywhere, right on your devices, guys. They have all the leading magazines, except you're not going to need the useless material of magazines. When you're done reading a magazine, what do you do with it? You let it sit there and then you read it again. You hate it because you read it already. It's wasting your time. Get it out of here. Well, you don't have to get it anywhere because it's digital now. This is the future of magazines and it's a really awesome way to consume content. Uh, Texture will give you unlimited access, unlimited to over 200 premium magazines so you can be informed, entertained, inspired, and you know what? Just, Just like reading magazines. That's all you need. Like on a plane, you can, you know, just download it on Texture, for offline and then there you have it okay you don't need to buy a ten dollar magazine at the airport it is so overpriced i hate airports (laughs) just go on a rant about airports Uh, right now, guys, you can try it out for free at texture.com slash Jenna Julian. That's T-X-T-U-R-E dot com slash Jenna Julian. Um, it's a free trial, okay? You see how you like it. You can choose after your free trial, if you'd like to continue for just $9.99 a month, that's over 30% off of their listed price just for you. Think about that. $10 a month and you get unlimited access to all those magazines. That's the price of one physical magazine per month and you get all the <laughs> magazines. It's crazy. All right, guys, go to te- texture.com slash Julian. Start your trial. Nothing to lose. Just give it a shot. See how you like it and let us know. Guys, also, the skim, completely free. Just Get, literally, it's a newsletter, and it, it is not spammy. It just sends you information in a compact, tight, nice, perfect form. So you can just read it and consume it. It's bite-sized content. It's great, especially with all the shit uh, you know, on online news. With I mean, there's a lot of bad news sites, news, news outlets, and just ways to consume news online that this is just – it's a really simple way to do it. So if you're struggling to get to the facts, to get to the headlines – uh, getting away from the bullshit. So the skim is what you need. Okay. You go to the skim.com slash Jenna Julian. That's T H E S K I M M.com slash Jenna Julian. Guys, it keeps you in the know about all the, the stuff going on in the world, good and bad. Okay. And there's no BS. It's a newsletter right to your email. It's free. So go to the skim.com slash Jenna Julian, sign up, enter your email and click subscribe. That's literally all you have to do. And by doing that, you're going to get the newsletter to your email every morning, and you're also going to be entered to win a $250 Visa gift card, which you could buy whatever you like with it, except probably illegal drugs. I don't know if that that sort of gift card works in that scenario. Depends on your drug dealer. I don't think it does. Consult your your drug dealer. It'll be a case-by-case basis. Please don't listen to Do not consult any drug dealer. The skim does not condone, (laughs) condone doing drugs, although I'm sure if you have a prescription... And what you feel hell? like you're... <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Guys, the skim.com slash Jenna Julian. Sign up. You'll be uh, in a shot to win a Twitch video gift card and you get information here. You know. Are you okay? <laughs> is it airy season? Hold on. All right. I wound, I wound myself back up. Oh, okay. Like at one of those wind-up toys mm-hmm. when you go... Crick, 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 and he goes... Dah, 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 across the table. <laughs> That's you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're keeping the guy that's on fire is what we've agreed to. Yes, for now, for now. Because later on, we might find that it's a safety concern. But right now, fuck it. We have free fire. We don't have to worry about building fires. All right. So who are we getting rid of? Who is providing nothing? I think Jonah Hill, who doesn't believe doctors are real people, I feel like he's just going to cause arguments. (laughs) He might just piss everyone off. Like, that's bad for morale. Because what if one of these... Well, first of all... We have a doctor. We have a doctor. We have a brain surgeon. I feel like they're going to get in a fight. Take Jonah Hill and a brain surgeon who runs on a hamster wheel. That potentially poses a fight involving a human-sized hamster wheel, which could damage people and our setup. Yeah. And there's a guy on fire. I don't like it. No. Jonah. 
I know we sound alike, <laughs> but goodbye. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. I think that the next person who's really bothering me hmm. is the sex doctor who won't stop accusing everyone of cheating on the test, even though nobody is even in school. Because that's just super annoying. Like, after the first five minutes, I can't stand that. Okay, but... What? <laughs> What if two people start hitting it off? Yeah. And, and they're having problems in the bedroom. <laughs> and they need to consult someone about this their sex life. Julian. What better way they don't need than a to have a doctor. sex doctor? No, the show's not on that long. Retainer. The show's not that long. They it's don't not that long to get to a point in a relationship where you can consult a sex doctor yeah. for relationship problems. Yeah. Okay, Bob. He I'm, can go. I'm done with this person. By Mr. Sex Doctor. Okay, okay. I want to keep Jehovah's Witness on his bicycle because I think he seems nice. He's pure. He yeah. just misses his mom. I think so. And he so wants too. to talk about Jesus Christ. I don't think that's Oh, our what... Lord and Savior. What do they say? <laughs> what, they ride around on their bicycles and they say, Do you have a moment to talk about? I I don't think any of that's true, Julian. Wait, what is the the stereotype of them riding around with the suits on their bicycles? Is I'm that not a sure Witness? that that's Jehovah's Witness. Oh, uh, I thought But that I'm up. not sure. No, maybe you didn't. I don't know, but Oh, uh, I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure where this idea I'm of just, them being on bicycles came from. I'm just gonna look up from. a picture of a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's. You're looking up a picture of a person. Yes. What makes you think? Oh that... no, they're not on a bicycle. Yeah, they are. Neither of those people are on a bicycle. They're not. They're, they're not just on a people. But I've seen like, them. What on... are you looking up? Um, comment below. That's it. Just comment below. What I I like went to school with some Jehovah's Witnesses. I They're thought just people. Well, I'm, it's I'm just, just, just a referring religion. to the, I, I know. I, hold on, hold on. I'm referring to the stereotype. I'm be, I'm making a joke. This is a joke of a game. Mm -hmm. So I'm making a joke. That's what it was. It wasn't me being ignorant. Wait. I, so I thought him being on a bicycle was like a funny thing that you wrote. I didn't know that you thought that Jehovah's Witnesses. Do you know what I'm talking about? On a bicycle. The, not, hold on. Do you know what I'm talking about? The person on their bike who's riding around in their their short sleeve suit. Or their short sleeve button down with the tie. Do you know what I'm talking? Is that no? I have no idea what that is. Is that a stereotype that I just made up in it's my a, head? It's a religious person that rides a bicycle. Yeah, but the bicycle is just part of the stereotype. It's not like it's not. It's not necessary for what they're doing. It's just their means of transportation. Are you talking about like an Amish person or no, someone no, that no, doesn't no, use like no, electricity? No, or? no, no, no. We're, Even we're that's too deep. Not... We're too deep in this. We need to back away. Okay, we're slowly backing away. <laughs> We're slowly backing away. We don't need I'm to get into the details. I'm having a hard time understanding a religious is, stereotype that involves a bicycle. There is, there is no need to get any further in this conversation. <laughs> I've already dug myself pretty deep, and I don't know how I got here. It's Aries season. Know, That's how we got here. <laughs> okay. I'm already sick of the erotic novelist saying wig and everything. He's got to go. I don't want him no, saying wig. No, he's fine. Or she. What if they start turning people on with their work and that causes problems? That's fine. They can go to the sex doctor, but we got rid of them. They Ow. can't go to the sex Ow. doctor. The sex doctor's dead. That's fine. Okay. Well, you know, they can... I, no, they're fine. Okay. Jehovah's Witness. He has a bicycle. Yeah. However he's got one, he's got one. Yeah. Storage. Okay, that's okay. a big item to just keep uh, in our I'd say quarters. a hamster wheel is bigger than a bicycle. Human-sized hamster wheel? Yeah, fuck that guy. That's so annoying. All right, so we're getting rid of the brain surgeon. So anyone at any point needs brain surgery, we are fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, goodbye. Get the fuck off the planet. Oh. All right. Who else are we getting rid of? I want to get rid of... Uh, the pickup artist who demands a fortune cookie after every single meal. First of all, we don't have that. Second of all, stop hitting on everyone. I don't think he's hitting on everyone. He's doing a science. I don't care. It annoys me. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty shitty. Get him out. Get him up out of here. I don't like him. I don't, I like, don't him like his either. energy. I don't like anything about him. Not good for our tribe. I don't like his pieces of flair. Drop your buff guy. You're out of here. All right? <laughs> Drop your snuff space your, buff. Snuff your torch. Snuff your stupid torch. Okay. Um, the orchestra conductor, who's a flat earther, he's looking at me weird, and I don't like him still. Yeah. We're out in space. How we do, don't how need an you orchestra disrespect? conductor in space either. Like He's not really serving a purpose. Nobody needs an orchestra conductor anyway, unless you have an orchestra. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, maybe he's really knowledgeable about music, which would be fun to like talk to him for a little while. But then after that, he's probably just really pretentious. 
See, I said that, and then you you said maybe that's a st- maybe I'm prejudging him, and then you just did the same thing. I did. Yeah. Really? Wait, no, I called myself out. So now, now you call yourself out. <laughs> he might not be a pretentious. It's probably... Aries season, boy. I can't even follow this conversation. What What is Aries season? Is it like when the Aries month is? Because it hasn't know. even started. When is it? I think it's like March twentieth. Like it's right when your mom's birthday is, right? Hey Siri. When does when Aries, does Aries start? start? Checking on that. My web search turns something up for okay, when does Aries... The most useless AI yeah. in the world. March 21st. So we're not even there yet. It's not even Aries season yet. Oh, I can feel it coming. My mom's birthday is the 24th. She's the most Aries person I know. Mm. If you guys wonder where I got my Aries, it's 100% my mom. She's... The most amazing woman, but she is the airiest woman I've ever met. Tornado. Tornado. Like I forget. Like the other day. <laughs> yeah. The other day. I, I literally got house. hives listening to this. I was at her house, and we were discussing what we were gonna do for lunch. So my brother Marlon and I were like, okay, let's walk to the grocery store. We'll pick some out, and you know, like one of the pre-made meals. We'll, we'll come back home and eat it. And she's like, okay. So she goes to the other room, and my brother and I are like, okay, we're, we're gonna go. We put on our shoes. We go to the kitchen and say goodbye to my mom. We're like, okay, we're going to go to the store. We walk into the kitchen and she's she's cooking pasta. And we're like, wait, what are you doing? She's like, I'm cooking pasta for us to eat lunch. I was like, we just agreed that I was going, we were going to the store. And it's like, I felt like Jenna feels like All 90% the of the time All in the our time. relationship. Like we just had a conversation. We made a plan and then what are you doing? <laughs> so that's where I get it. And I'm, pr- I'm proud to be an Aries. <laughs> Tips my astrological cap. My Aries. Orchid Shark Conductor, bye. Yeah. We're not going to eat him. Bye, bitch. But we don't want him here. <clears throat> we don't want him. All right. The next person who's annoying me is Kylie Jenner's baby's future baby who smells like pita- pistachios and lies about everything. Regardless of the fact that uh, Kylie Jenner is her grandmother, which cool I think to be, serves no purpose. It'd be cool to be have Kylie's... Granddaughter with us, just saying. Totally, but she lies about everything. That's or true. he that's lies a, about that's everything. That's a bad characteristic. It's not a good characteristic. No, no, he can get get up out of here. Yeah, you're gone. You're out. Next week, gone. Oh. Oh, Kermit. Okay, um, so the retired porn star who doesn't understand gravity after 10 p.m. Oh, my God, exhausted. I have, I have one major question. What? 10 p.m., like, what clock are we going by? Well, if we're on another planet that has some sort of different, like, orbit or a different sun. Yeah. Or we, I guess you said we're on, like, near Saturn. Saturn right? Springs. It's not. It's nowhere near Saturn. I don't know why I got its name, Saturn Springs. I thought you said it was... It was the sister planet. They're very... They're very... Um, they're estranged sisters. They don't talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it depends on the rotation of our planet. So what if... 10 p.m. Like 10 p.m. Hours hits around for a full day, and then it's like 700 hours till the next hour. So we only have one <laughs> night the whole time, and the whole night he doesn't know what gravity is. <laughs> Not that there is any, but so like we're say we're there for like a few months or something, or like a month. We only have one night during that experience. Yeah. So and there's just a clueless guy the whole time. Yeah, but I mean. We haven't really had a lot of time to acclimate to this planet, right? So he's still having 10 p.m. or she's still having 10 p.m. regardless of that. It's like jet lag, but like on steroids. Yes. <laughs> so they're still having it regardless of the planet's yes. orbit. Yes is the answer. Fuck that person. Okay, get them up out of here. And they're a retired porn star. I mean. I feel terrible for them, but I can't have you just forgetting how gravity works every single night. Well. And freaking out about it. Yeah. I mean, and the thing about the retired porn star, that in and, is, in and of itself is not a bad thing. But something about them re- not being able to stop reminiscing about the glory days makes me feel a little <laughs> odd. <laughs> That's it. What are their glory days? What are their glory days? days? Okay. I don't want to know more about that. What are their glory days? I don't know. I'm um, not them. But they won't stop. Okay. No, it says glory whole days. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Yep. Ow! That is my blanket! Hey, who is that? She's pulling on it. Peach, get up out of here. Go. Go. My, all right, this person sucks. An IT guy who refuses to believe churches are real. We don't need an IT guy. No. They're, they're, whatever. 
But the next person for me that's really starting to get on my nerves is the YouTuber who does candle reviews, but instead of reviewing the smell, they review how bad they burn you I like that when guy. they touch th when you touch them, and then they sleep yell in Darth Rocky. I like that guy. I like him through and through. Why? I think he's a fantastic. He's a model, model human. Because first of all, that YouTube channel is so incredibly innovative and outside the box. You're not going to do it's, a first candle of all, review. It violates based the terms on, of use. Nah, it's not self harm if you ain't mad. That's what it says in the terms of service. Ain't it? Ain't self harm okay, no, if you ain't mad. No, 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 and no. Oh man, I would subscribe so fast. No, you can't. You can't watch. I just want to know if a lavender themselves. candle hurts me more than an orange spring candle. I want to know. It it doesn't depend on the scent of it. It depends on the size of the wick and how big the flame how is. How do you know? You don't have that channel. You can't have a channel where you repeatedly burn yourself. Well, on YouTube. You know what? Challenge accepted. Julian, no. You're 2018 is the year that I launched my candle channel. It is 2018. 2019. I'm doing it next year. <laughs> Give me a few months. No. Got to prepare. This some person inventory. needs to stop it. They're banned from YouTube and they're banned from the nighttime because they won't stop yelling in Dothraki. Okay. I concede. I reluctantly concede. I mean, the only way I would keep them is if they just burn themselves on Burn Guy and then they can be together. But then they're going to form an alliance. Imagine how good it would smell, though. Candles. They're going to form an alliance. All right, fine. Get a them out fire -based of here. A fire-based alliance that we can't handle. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here, okay? Mm -hmm. The novelist who can't stop saying wig needs to go. He hasn't provided no. a goddamn thing. What? They're fine. What about Dandruff Parmesan Dad? Okay, he can stay. I, I still don't have a problem. we got to get down to one. <laughs> Okay. We we have to decide right now. Oh, man, we're in like that we that to, tribal yeah. where it's like we got yeah, a line Yeah, we just hit the merge somebody. and we're just Fuck, yeah, this yeah. is brutal. Drop Who your has goddamn the numbers? Buff. Okay, I think the electrician is useless. What is what's his thing? He shakes again? your hand with his tickling your hand. Yeah, he is. Useless. He doesn't provide a goddamn thing. Well, we are, we are, Goodbye. We are, we okay. So we now we have the Jehovah's man. Witness, the erotic novelist, the fire guy, and the divorced dad on my side. Mm -hmm. and you have Michael Keaton. Yeah, Michael Keaton. The cast of stuck on you. Michael Keaton squeezing into his uh, thirty-year-old Batman outfit, constantly, 29. constantly updating. Twenty-nine-year-old. Constantly updating on how well their stock investments are going. Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear from Stuck on You, but they steal people's toiletries uncontrollably, who you've been vouching for, but I want to eliminate every time. They're a good addition to any team. And a beekeeper who's lost his way, but won't stop talking about how cutting out caffeine has made them feel so much that better. guy is obnoxious. It's starting to get a little Get funny. him out of here. It's starting to get a we little We get annoying. it, all right? You're, you're, you're accustomed to not having caffeine because you chose to cut it out of your diet. Peach is going to knock over that whole monitor right now. Hey. She literally just shook that whole monitor. Come here, baby. All right. Okay. You still have a bunch left. Yeah. I only okay. have two. I, I've been pushing to get rid of erotic novelist. Who says wig? <laughs> I think they're sweet. It doesn't matter who's sweet. This is they this probably space have a survivor. good sense of humor. Oh no, wig. that one hurts. That one hurts. <laughs> wig. No, oh wig. my god, me. That one hurt. That I'm was sorry. my friend. That I'm was sorry. my that was my closest friend well, on the island. No, oh, it wasn't me. No, I mean beside you. Nah, nah. Beside you. Nah. Already said. You're not my friend. You're my hurt. aught. Aughts are different. Okay, I, I'm all of a sudden lost my appetite, and I don't want Parmesan dandruff. Really? Yeah, I need fire more than that. No, no, no. Really? He's like hey. a good source of food as long as we keep him dandruffy. But he's constantly just sleeping with everyone. He's freshly divorced. <laughs> wait, wait, what? He's, what makes you think he's sleeping with everyone? He's divorced. What? Is, what? He's free. Wait, Please. so divorced people sleep with, with everyone, <laughs> and Jehovah's Witnesses only ride bicycles. You, these are your stereotypes, not mine, what? okay? I've said, I haven't said a word this whole podcast about anything. Mm -hmm. I haven't even opened my mouth. Okay. <laughs> That's your stereotype, okay? You know. So That's who is I he sleeping say. with? Because right now it's you, me, Michael Keaton, <laughs> Matt Damon, and Greg Kinnear. <laughs> who's this person? A guy who's on fire. And who's that person? Jehovah's Witness. So he's having sex with a Jehovah's Witness, a, a guy who's on fire, Matt Damon, Greg Kinnear, and Michael Keaton? Or all at the same time. So am I the only girl right now? Yes. 
No, the Jehovah's Witness is a girl. Okay. Michael Keaton is also a girl. <laughs> okay, Michael Keaton can go. He was my Batman. I love him, but he's providing nothing. He's yeah, just he's annoying really us about his stocks. Annoying us with his Get stocks. him the fuck out. But I can say safely that we kept him as long as we could because he's Batman. We appreciate you, Batman. We Thank did. you. But good night. Goodbye. Um, fire guy, we're keeping for now. Jehovah's Witness. Why? I think just Jehovah's Witness just misses his mom. Out. Goodbye. Nothing well, I mean, to help we've us. gone a number of weeks with him missing his mom. Yeah, we get it. We all miss our mom. It's been a lot of tears. We all miss our mom, dude. <laughs> okay, now we have divorced dad who's Parmesan cheese hair. Guy, guy is on fire who pees everywhere. And come on. Come on, baby. We've got to keep this stuck on you. Matt, I'm going to read this card again because it's so eloquently written. Matt Damon, but he's in the makeup from Stuck on You, so he's attached to Greg Kinnear who uncontrollably steals people's toiletries. So, just cut to the end. I know that you want them to win. Well, let's just be honest here. This would be a great, great series. Like this would sell. Well, so say the 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 prize is that you win money or something. Now we're splitting it. For which, like, if they win, they split it fifty fifty. Oh, fuck. How do they win? They have to win together, right? So, if you want to get rid of them, I'll allow it. But I don't want Parmesan cheese. I'm sick of him. I don't want to eat any more Parmesan cheese. I've eaten it for 10 weeks. Well, who would you rather have win? Imagine that we're like in the jury. A Jehovah's Witness on the... Oh, who's left? Fire guy. A guy who's on fire? Absolutely not. I don't want him to win. He's been on fire the whole time and secluded from the rest of everyone else to not catch them on fire. He's barely participated in any of the challenges. He's provided fire for the whole tribe for weeks. So? He's made it so no one had ever had to build a fire. So? What do you mean so? He can't help it that he's on fire. He shouldn't just win the show because he's on fire. He can use the money to get looked at by a doctor and see why he's on fire. He still doesn't know why he's on fire. <laughs> he was with a, a brain surgeon the whole time. And That's he not just... a doctor. That's All a right. brain surgeon. Who's who's winning the show? Who's winning the show right now? I, I say we all. I say we put our votes together. So on the count of three, slam our hand down on the, on the table very loud and violently. This is Fire Guy. This is Matt Damon. This is <laughs> Divorce Dad. Okay. Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Damn it. You went to Divorce Dad? Yeah, because I don't want Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear who have been stealing people's toiletries okay, okay, all season. Okay, hold on, hold on. To what, win. And what this guy's did, just this, on fire. All right, fire Guy's out. That, that determined Fire Guy's out. So now Fine. we have Divorce Dad versus the cast of Stuck on You in Stuck on You costume. Ready? I don't think a celebrity should win Ready, the show. Ready, go. <laughs> Same votes. Two celebrities should not be able to win a reality show the first time in its existence. Going to another planet is bullshit. And they stole things the entire season. Love you guys. The winner of oh, Space Survivor win? Season 1 is a freshly divorced dad with nothing to lose <laughs> whose dandruff is Parmesan cheese. Congratulations to dad. Yeah, but think of think of the reunion. He's crying. His life has changed now. He has hope after he's divorced. His kids still don't want to talk to him because their mom has turned them against him. But a young, nice Italian lady who is a, a In the appreciation audience. for Parmesan and, spots him. Oh, she owns a restaurant. She owns a, a pasta Italian food restaurant. Pasteria. And she sees a, a not only a working relationship, but a sexual one as well. She wants him to put Parmesan cheese all over her from his head while they have sex. Well, good thing he met a sex doctor on the show. What a ride it's been. And dun, 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 thanks for watching season one of Space Survivor. <laughs> we need advertisers to get to season two. Please email <laughs> us now. <laughs> I don't know how we funded a trip to space, but we did. <laughs> well done. That was fun. That was fun. Space Survivor. Good game. Trademark. Well, it, it like unlike nuclear it. winter where you have to take people's occupations into consideration, <clears throat> we get to just eliminate the most annoying people first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, thank you guys for watching uh, Space Survivor and listening to the Jen Julian podcast. It is incredibly nice to be back. I missed you guys. We and you, uh, we will see you next week with another Carmen. episode. And it'll officially be Aries Carmen. season next week. So Carmen just desperately wants a hug. Come here. You can do it. We stream on Twitch all the time, twitch.tv slash Jenna Julian. And uh, check out the sponsors in the description. Helps us out. Supports the show. Say goodbye, Kermit. Kermit, breathe into the mic. Take us out, dude. Take us out to commercials. All right. Goodbye. Happy Monday. Bye. <laughs>